All right, hey guys, TPS Studio here, and today we're actually going to show you uh, how to download and install mods for City Skylines. And this is the version for the Epic Games launcher. So if you um, use Epic Games and you see that they come out with free games all the time, and they don't have a lot of mod support. They only really have it for one, maybe two games, uh, I think, at the moment. And so if you just got yourself City Skylines for Epic Games and you're probably wondering, you know, the first thing you're wondering is, you know, where can I get mods? How can I download mods? And some people may say that the only way to get mods is through the Nexus mods. And that is not true. Uh, we can actually download them from Steam and install them directly on here. So uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, first, you'll need to know where to find the mods that you want to download. And if we actually go to Steam's website, you don't even need to log in. Uh, you just need, you know, the links up here. So if we go to City Skylines, uh, the actual store page, and we just scroll down, uh, scroll down on the right here, and we see Visit the Workshop. This is where we want to go for all of our mods. And right away, you can see a lot of good stuff uh, on the front page here. And it's really just what you want. And there's several different things you can install. There are actually City Skylines, like, resource packs and assets you can see over here uh, is this big list over here and i'll show you how to download those i'll show you how to download the maps and i'll show you how to download the actual mods so uh i'll link this down in the description so you can go there directly but if you don't uh use the link that's how you find it you just go to city skylines and visit the workshop so once we're on here you just want to look for the one that you want to install and of course they've got thousands if if not millions of mods you know whatever you need all right, so I found my mods here. I have uh, three different ones that I've actually pulled up. I've pulled up an actual asset, uh, a city skylines resource pack, and this is just for a car, you know, that we can add in. Um, and then we can also add in this. I found this. It's a map for the Earth. Uh, and then I've also pulled up Roundabout Builder. So these are the things I want to install right now, and. So we got a variety of things to install. So we actually, a lot of people when they're actually using the mods in the Steam uh, client, they're going to use the subscribe button and automatically downloads it. And when next time you open the game, it just plugs the mod in and you're able to use it, right? Well, with this, we actually just want the links of these actual pages. All right. And once we have these links, we're going to go to this. This is the most important part. Now, there are a couple other sites, and if you feel like those work better for you, that's fine. Uh, I don't use those other sites because they don't say that they're secure. So uh, I chose this because it does actually show up that it's secure, everything looks legit, um, and as far as I can tell, it's not harming my computer and everything seems fine. So what we're doing is we're actually just taking the resource pack or the mod that we want, and we're just pasting the link right here. And as soon as we do that, we just click download, okay? And now a lot of people will say, oh, well, you'll need WinRAR or 7-Zip or something like that to actually open it, right? Well, no, that is not true, okay? So when we go here and we just right-click and we can use the normal Windows 10 extract all method. And when we are browsing for that output file, we actually need to go to this exact file name, all right? Uh, now, this will depend on if you're doing a mod or a map or a resource pack, okay? So, since we're doing, and I'll link all the file directories down below, and here, I'll go pull them up for you right here. So, you can pause right here, and this will show you where you put assets, uh, where you put maps, and where you put the actual uh, color correction, anything like that. Um, and then I'll show you where to put actual mods. But let's start off with this asset real quick for this car. So, we're actually going to get out of the program files. We're just going to go to Windows C users i'm going to go into my user and we're going to go to app data all right and if you don't see that folder app data then what you can do is if you go to any of your files uh, and you go into view hidden items we want to make sure that box is check marked that's very important so you can access those files uh, but we just go to app data we go to local and we go to colossal order because that is for city skylines right and then we go to City Skylines, Add-ons, and then Assets. And you can see I've actually already added a couple few buildings for uh, Buffalo Wild Wings and Wendy's. And we're going to go ahead and create a new folder for this one. And so we're just going to say Civic because, you know, that's what it 
the asset pack is for. And we're just going to select that folder to extract it, all right? So we're extracting all that information into that actual folder, all right? And then let's say if we want to download the earth map, all right? Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do the same steps. We're going to put this into the link, paste it, download, and then once it brings it up, we are going to right click extract all we're going to browse to the this directory now program files epic games we're going to go to city skylines files maps so we want since this is a map we're going to make a folder here and we're going to call this earth and select that folder extract continue you do need administrator permission to do this so uh, that is very important and now that we've downloaded that and okay so we downloaded these two let's download the roundabout builder that is a very very cool mod that we can also download so just same steps as before and we're gonna put it in here we're gonna paste that in we're gonna download that and once it's downloaded same steps as before extract all we can just do this manually with windows system you don't need any external software you don't need to download anything to do this except the files themselves oh extract them in the wrong place let's go ahead and try that again and we're going to browse we're going to go to windows program files epic games city skylines files mods okay and again i'm going to create a new folder and we're going to just call that roundabout builder, okay? Select folder, extract. Now, that's literally all we have to do. That's all we've had to do for the entire process. Now, when we actually go and open up Epic Games, and we can go into our library and open up our city skylines. All right, and now we're just going to check if all our mods and our assets installed correctly. So when we open up city skylines, we're going to go to content manager and we're going to have a couple categories that we can actually go to. And the first one is we have maps. And if we scroll all the way down, let's go all the way down to the earth because that is what it is titled. And you can actually see, I have two of those there because I tested it in two different locations. So I'll just delete one of those. And yeah, we have it. So we have the earth and then we have assets. We have the car that we downloaded. I have some other assets that I downloaded earlier. And for mods, we have a lot of the ones that I downloaded, like bulldoze it, loading screen mod and round bubbler. That's the one we just downloaded. So I've made sure that they've all installed and we can see them on the content manager. Let's go ahead and click on new game. And I'm just going to start with the basic one. I'm not even going to use the earth, uh, but actually you know what we'll use that one we'll use that one just to test it out just to make everything work correctly and you can already see that some of our mods are taking effect uh, because we're using the loading manager uh, like the no loading manager whatever it's called and it comes up with a whole new loading screen and it tries to optimize everything for you and it tells you exactly what's loading what's not what's not found and stuff like that so super easy super simple and now that we're in the game yeah, we don't need that. So I am going to make a couple roads just so we can test out our roundabout builder, okay? And so that's a funky little road, right? And we'll do that there. So if we use Control O, which is the roundabout manage roundabout builder uh, optimization there, and we do that, look, we got a little roundabout. So yep, everything works perfectly, uh, and the assets should be loaded in, so if we make commercial zones and stuff like that, we should see like Wendy's and uh, B-dubs and everything like that start loading in, and we should obviously see um, you know, the cars that we chose to add in there, and everything should be working properly. Uh, the process really, you can see, is not that complicated, and everything is super simple to do in this. And I hope this helped you. Uh, you know, if you like this video, just let me know. And if there's anything else you guys need help on, you can let me know down in the comments below. I'm, I'm willing, uh, you know, I'm really willing to help you guys out, you know, with anything you need. So uh, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.